Hello, this is Wayne Buckhannon here demonstrating the WP Instant Mini Site plugin. We're going to go through some of the fun features real quick here. We're going to create a new squeeze page. So let's do a video squeeze. And I've got some text on the clipboard that has the the page contents and the autoresponder code and I'm going to pull off the autoresponder but for now I've got a YouTube video URL I tack the V in here so that the smart YouTube plugin will pull that and embed it nicely I've got a little text to go underneath it I'm gonna go ahead and save the draft just to make sure that all the settings get sorted and now we can do the fun stuff we can come down here to the bottom of the page and we can activate the layout options for this page. Now what that's going to give us is a couple of templates. We're going to pick the paper squeeze and we're going to then come on down here and once that's popped we will drag the page contents into the main tab. Oh, gotta get in the main tab. <laughs> page contents and we're going to give it a width of 500 pixels to make sure that it has room for that video, although it should flow nicely even if we don't. So there's our main. Let's make sure we hit the Save the Layout Settings button at least once during all of this. And now we can go to the right panel and we can drop in our autoresponder code in a rich text widget. What this rich text widget does versus the normal text widget that you'll find in your WordPress backend is that this gets us a visual editor. So I have the HTML code that came from my autoresponder. I'm not editing it. I'm just dropping it in here. And you can see that there's just good old form code. And we're going to tell it we want 250 pixels wide and we're going to make sure we save that. Now the great thing is if we do want to turn the rich text editor on via activate, we wait a few seconds and up pops our usual visual editor with all our buttons just like we're used to in WordPress including all of the media settings so we can drop in videos, images, audios, etc. in the rich text box. Do what we want to do and then when we're done we have to deactivate it and then we can save it and that is our form so that's uh let's go on up there we've saved that we've saved the layout settings we can now publish our page and once that saves we can take a look at it and see what we've got And what we've got at the moment is a, a video squeeze page. Now this is kind of plain. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a headline. We're going to put in some arrows and we will come back and check this page again in a minute. So to do that, we need to bop back down here on our edit page. And in the top, we can drag and drop a headline box and drop that there. Go ahead and put in our headline save that and if we flip over here and refresh this we get the page now has a lovely headline all right now we want to go add some images pointing some arrows at that subscribe box because we know that that improves our conversion ratios so we flip over to the right tab we say, all right, we want to close the rich text. We're going to grab an image. We're going to stick one above. And we get to take advantage of the WordPress media library when we do this. So I'm going to go flip over to the media library. And I've got some arrows that I've already used on other squeeze pages. So I'm going to grab one of those and this is the upper box, so I want to grab the down pointing arrow. And these arrows are included as bonuses with the plugin, so you'll have them for your use also. 
I don't want a title on this. I don't want a URL. I do want it centered. I do want it full size and insert into widget. All right, so now it's in the widget. We've got no title. If we'd left it there, it would show up and we can delete it out of the box. We should have no link. Everything looks good. So we're gonna save that one and close that up. And we'll go grab another one and drop it underneath and point an arrow up. All right. Now we'll go do the same thing. We'll go to our library. We'll pull that. This time we'll do the up red static as opposed to the animated. Get rid of the title. Make sure there's no link URL. Centered, full size, insert into widget. And we've got an up pointing arrow underneath our box. We're going to go save, save, and then go up to the top and make sure we save the draft. And let's go look at this video squeeze page. Let's refresh. And we get one with animated arrow pointing down, nice arrow pointing up lovely squeeze page and it took us a whopping six minutes and 45 seconds and that was with me narrating and all that fun stuff so you can imagine how much quicker you can create your own squeeze pages and you can go play with all these fun widgets and you can leverage all of wordpress has to offer and you are ready to rock have fun